This is Sarah Torres playing Final Fantasy 3, and this time we're gonna go fight uh, a couple bosses. Um, if you go through the mines, back to where we, uh, I think we fought Kafka here earlier. Uh, like the first time we fought Kafka, and we saved Mog here, I think, too. Not this way. This is where we first ran into the Ice Asper. Which, coincidentally, that's the boss we're gonna go. That's one of the bosses we're gonna fight is the um, Esper trapped in the ice. Um, we've been seeing that since the beginning of the game. You know, we've seen it like three times now. Uh, just kind of sitting there, and uh, now we're gonna go keep the crap out of it. Um, it's not too. The bosses here aren't too hard as long as you have the right equipment. If you've been to the Dragon Coliseum and gotten some more of the like some of those Minerva busts here for uh, where well, you got one for. Sell us, and you got, you know, a couple ice shields. This, this will be no problem. Both the bosses. This is the, this is the ice dragon. So, it's kind of weird because there's like no enemies beside, you know, if you have the Moogle, Bur Moogle charm. So, uh, what you want is to use Phantom and use Berserk. Uh, I found that to be the fastest way because he's so easy because of all the status ailments you can do to this guy. Um, you can Berserk him, you can mute him, you can slow him, you can poison him. So, he's really not that hard of a... <clears throat> he's probably the easiest dragon, probably the easiest boss in the game. Um, <clears throat> we ran into a dragon earlier, if you remember. It looked a lot different than this, I think. I mean, when it was flying around, it looked the same, but... Then you run into it, and it looks like it has a, a different sprite. It's a lot stronger looking, usually, but this one doesn't, because it's not. Um, so, yeah, just use Bio Blaster, and then just attack it. Or use poison, or just bio if you have that. Don't know if you have wood, but maybe you do. Um, yeah, just tag it. I, I probably should have went. I still don't get Maga weapon, but it, it'll be fine um, for both the both the battles. This battle, I wouldn't use any dances. Um, but if you want to go ahead, I don't know. It doesn't really matter. Um. I would go for a Forest Sweep. Uh, I think that's probably the best one to use because it has Elf Fire, so you could use that. Which is, you know, strong against us. Yeah, the Ice Dragon is weak to fire. And in some games, I hate, like, in some, it's, it's, it's even for some Final Fantasy games, actually. But where it'll be like the Ice Dragon, and it's immune to fire. Like, it absorbs ice, and it's immune to fire. It's like, well, but no, it should be weak to fire. It's an Ice Dragon. But, you know, so I don't know. Some games are like that, but this one, no, it's Ice Dragon, it's to fire, it makes sense. Also, I love how the poison builds, like, it'll take out, like, now it's taking out, like, a thousand damage each turn. I love that. Yeah, there's not really much to talk about with this boss, it's, it's not that hard. It just has... This boss is probably going to take longer than the, the, the boss that's harder than it later. I don't want to fight the, the Esper, but, yeah. Oh, well there you go. I'm hoping I get a certain item, but if I don't get it, whatever. Ten magic points. And... And... Haste and slow and stop and force shield. That's what I wanted. Seven dragons left. Awesome. All right, the force shield is good because it'll like um, it's really strong against magic attacks, right? But also it um it heals the thunder shield, which will half the the damage from uh, from uh, an ice attack, right? And the ice shield absorbs magic uh, ice magic. Um. But the uh, force shield, what, it, it'll like half the damage or whatever. But also, it'll equip uh, a shell, so it's pretty good. Uh, it'll be fine. But will the fire knuckle? I don't think it's gonna do that much damage. I probably, yeah. I might use attack just to see how much it does, but I probably just use fire dance. If he already learned fire, use that. Um, but it's not. The thing is, I don't know. Like you, would, the blitz move is better, f in my opinion, because well, you'll see when we fight it. I'll just show you. 
it'll be easier to show you why it's better to use the blitz and anything like that than to actually just use magic. Because if there's, if there's one thing this guy does more than anything, it is get rid of it. He just rasp. Yeah, he uses rasp over and over. Like, you'll have no magic with really anyone. So that's why I like to use the dance in this with Mog, even if you know fire. I mean, use fire at the beginning, definitely. Or if you have, like, a, uh, an Esper, use that if you think, you know, it'll do more damage than fire 2 or what a fire 1 attack, but... You know, I'll use fire 2 with Edgar, but it's not gonna, I'm only gonna get, like, two shots in before it takes away all my MP with me. So. Yeah, I use force, I wouldn't use the snow one, obviously. Use force sweet, oh, god damn. Um, yeah, see, now I can't use fire too. Like, he usually takes away that much magic. It's ridiculous. Um, so I'm just gonna use chainsaw from now on. If I get Runic at the right time, the thing is, he uses Rasp like he's really fast. Well, it, I don't know if I call it he or she, I just call him it, I guess, but he uses fire. I mean, it uses, it uses Rasp pretty fast. So, like, even if I use Runic, it'll only absorb one of them, and it'll use it like four times. Like, it, it can attack as much as I can, but it uses Rasp for most of those attacks. It also has Cold Dust. Yeah, there it is. Which will freeze a character, it really sucks. I just realized that if it freezes a character, I'm screwed. Because the only character I have that can unfreeze people is, uh, Edgar. All my other characters can't unfreeze people because... The way you unfreeze them is you just... Oh, God. Alright, so, so let's you. Um, I don't know what this else. Just do something else. Oh, cure, yeah, yeah. The cool is not Like, that's the thing, if you have those shields, you won't lose that much health, you might have noticed. I mean, it can. The thing is, you'll also use Ice 3. So if it, like, uses Cold Dust on Celis and then uses Ice 3, it'll hit all of us. And. I mean, you don't even really need to use Runic. It'll take out, like, 400 damage, probably, from everyone. And give Mog 400 health, but yeah, this is the this is the move I'm talking about. Elfire is the one like it'll do a lot. It'll do more damage than I think any other. See, it does more than I think any of the attacks that I have. So I mean, I think it's doing more than Fire Two does. It definitely does more than Fire Dance because Fire Dance is weaker on just one enemy. It doesn't like compound uh, the damage or anything. So. Yeah, oh, of course. Great. Yeah, if you have haste on, um, you'll unfreeze faster, I think. But, I don't care. And I can't use, the only person I have actually have haste with, like the move haste, is Mog. And once you do a dance with Mog, that's the thing. Once you do a dance with Mog, you don't have any magic. Left. So. That's why I don't really care to teach Mog that much magic, because I like to use the dances. But. Yeah, this move right here, Harvester, I don't know what it does. I think this is probably the move it uses the most when you use Forced Sweet, but I don't know what it does exactly. I mean, maybe it gets you a poison or something? Yeah, you'll see. See, watch, like, it'll take, like, 400 damage move. Maybe only 200, but I'm pretty sure 400. Yeah, no, about 200. It took 400 from... See, see, you know, I said when it halves the damage? Aegis Shield doesn't half the damage. Thunder Shield will. Um... Ice Shield will absorb it, and Fire Shield will, but Aegis Shield won't, so that's why he took more damage than everybody else, which sucks, but he should be fine. Yeah, there we go, that was fine. Yeah, we should be fine. I mean, Sabine's health is a little low, but now that she's unfrozen, I can just heal. It's kind of funny that I use Force Sweet in this battle, because it's like really epic, you know, you're on this, uh, you know, like, ledge of ice or whatever, and then it's just like, whoop, now you're not. Um, yeah. 
I don't know why I don't have Cure 2. But... See, that's the thing. I, I don't know what I've been teaching Celis. Like, what have I been trying to teach Celis? Right now I have Phantom on Celis because of the last battle, but... Um, I don't remember what I've ever been trying to teach her. Because it doesn't seem like she knows that many... Like, she knows some... MP absorbing magic, but she doesn't actually know any. Like she doesn't have fire two, she doesn't even have ice two, she doesn't have fire one, she doesn't have bolt. She she, she doesn't have any. Yeah, I don't know. I still don't know what that does. Okay, then I use ice three again, but I use the. Uh... But I, I hate when I use relic and it doesn't work. Oh, wait, I thought I did use Relic. Well, never mind. Or Runic. I keep saying Relic, but It's the game's fault for, for making a move that's, like, Runic, and then you have Relics. I don't know. And then there's Runic Blade, and it just... Stop using Harvester. Use Elfire. I think if you also use the, uh, uh, the first dance, I forget what it's called, the first one that, you know, the, did you have it all the way back when you first used Mog and the other Moogles? Like in that, you know, we, you know, when you use that thing where you have like those multi-party battles or whatever, where you're locked and you have like the other Moogles helping you and stuff. The, the move that Mog has is, um, is it just called Elf Dance or something? I don't know. But, no, it's, I don't think it is, but it's just like the first one you have. Uh, that one will, um, also use off fire. Yeah, finally beat it. Okay. Yeah, see, we didn't like. It seemed like a hard battle, but you might have noticed like nobody died once or anything. Like, it wasn't that hard, you know what I mean? Oh, he's dancing and he's frozen. <laughs> you humans freed from that prison of ice. You possess magicite. Who are you? Wait, you can talk. The whole time you could have just been like, since war and destruction. This stupid war possibly lasted a thousand years. You tell you want to put a stop to the madness. Let's see if you are worthy. Uh, are you worthy? Oh, sweet. So, Try Talk is pretty dope. Um, the move it uses is kind of weird because, let's say, okay, so the move it uses is triple. Like, it's a triple. Um, effect, just like what it teaches you. But it teaches you very slowly, but still. What it teaches you is, um... Yeah, and I want to keep Paladin. And I want to keep Fenrir, I think. But I'll... It, um... It's other problem. Try talk It's try talk because it's, it's fire, ice, and bolt. It teaches you very slowly, but... When you use it, like, you use try talk like, you summon the Esper. It does a move that does all three. So if uh, let's say something like the, the enemy's weak to fire, then if they're weak to the whole attack. But if the enemy's weak to fire, but they absorb lightning or something like that, they'll absorb the whole attack. So you have to be kind of careful about that. But anyway, next time we'll go in that little ledge. Uh, this is Sir Chorus. See you later, guys.